Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we returned to the Citadel. We told Garroth, who has been waiting for news about his brother since the beginning of the game, we finally let him know that unfortunately his brother died. It was it was very sad. Um, we're just gonna quickly explore. Oh, okay, hello. Through all my time at CSEC, I, I never got the chance to witness a meeting of the council in person. Hey, well, if, if we have another meeting with them, then you can tag along. 300 years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. Hmm. Here's the thing, correct me if I'm wrong. But from how Tali made it sound, the ta the Tali and um, the Geth kicked Tali's people out of the Perseus Vale, and then just stayed there. It's only a recent thing that the Geth have, you know, come out and been hurting people. It was only if people entered the Perseus Vale that the Geth attacked. They were just chilling out, minding their own business. Now, here's the thing. You could make the argument that, like, oh, there was a wolf on their doorstep. Why would you leave a wolf on your doorstep? Better to take it out now before it eats all of your flock. Like, they were taking a massive risk just letting the Geth be. But if... If the Geth weren't doing anything, if they weren't technically a threat unless you encroached on their space i can see the argument for we'll leave them be they're not hurting anyone everyone just avoid the you know avoid that area excuse me alliance officials report that a geth incursion into the armstrong cluster has been repulsed with the geth suffering heavy casualties in the event of future geth activity the alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area That was very interesting, but I'm not gonna lie, I am just like, black suits Naomi so well. Black and red is such a good color combination for her. I'm just like, ooh, girl, you look fancy. You look so fancy. Yes, that is important to me. Huh. I don't care about the stats of an armor, I just want my characters to look good. The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. The Keepers never paid much attention to that relay monument. I always found that a little strange. Maybe it doesn't need maintenance? I'm not trying to look at your ass, Naomi. I swear, I swear, I promise. I promise I'm not trying to be a perv. I just want a better look at the monument. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, girl. Let's, let's just move on. I'm so sorry, Naomi. Um, hmm. That is interesting, though, what Garrus just said. The Keepers don't pay much attention to it. The Keepers are like the lifeblood of the Citadel Station. They're everywhere. They're constantly doing shit, and they've been unionized. They have been unionized, and they have all of these new rights. Because that is that is the plot of Mass Effect, getting, getting the Keeper Union up and running. I'm never going to drop that. I am never going to drop that. Did Balavon sell stuff or...? Greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? Oh, um... I mean, on, on one hand, Naomi does kind of feel so what? I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Naomi really doesn't care that she is the first human Spectre. She wants justice against Saren, and this is allowing her to do so. She does not feel like it is a big deal. However, you know, oh, so what? Why, why the fuck are you asking? Like, let's, let's be polite. It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. 
Some of them want to see you fail. I, however, wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? Oh. I, I like his perspective there. Um, what Naomi said, it's a great honor. She does not believe that for a second. She's literally just being polite. Like, I, I'm sorry, where is the honor in being labeled the first human spectre when the council basically said to her face, okay, we recognize that Saren is up to some shady shit. However, he's our top operative. If we send any of our other operatives, he's probably going to kill them. We don't want to waste our resources. Hey, fuck it, you can do it. We don't give a shit if you die. Like, she was basically told she was expendable. Like, I'm sorry, where is the honor in that? Why, why should she feel grateful to these people that they are okay with her dying? Like, no. Um, but again, let, let's not be rude. Let's not be rude. These are our own personal thoughts and feelings. We're just going to say thank you. It's a great honor. Ba ba ba. I, I do think that Naomi does recognize to, you know, to humans and, you know, to, to races like the Volus who are desperate to join the council. You know, they're saying like, oh, they're opening up the specters to other races. That means we can get a chance. Like, she understands that, you know, her being the first human specter is very inspiring in that regard. But how it came about, you know, basically being told, hey, we don't care if you die. Um, we, we're not going to send anyone after Saren. You go do it. Like, she's just kind of like, the, the only reason I'm okay with this is because I can. It, it gives me the authority to go after Saren. I don't find this particularly honorable, but I can understand why people would find it inspiring. If that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. A goodbye, Balavon. These these guys definitely had. To, was there only one? I I guess there was only one merchant in this area. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Yes, please. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Oh, you sold the non-human armors. Okay, um, let's let's go standard first. You know, the, the black and red looks really good on her, but you know what would look even better? Black and purple. I think purple would really suit her colouring. Like, it would look stunning on her. Let's compare. We have amazing armor. Excellent. Oh, that I'm I'm very happy with that. I am very very. Oh, licenses. Thank you. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Indeed, I would. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, now let's see. Is there anything better? I, I wish you could see the whole party. In in Dragon Age Origins, you can pick from people who aren't who aren't even in your party. I wish that was a thing here. Um here's the thing, I'm pretty sure that Rex has really good armor. And even if he doesn't, we have armor in our inventory that we can try out with him. Oh my god. Y yeah. Yeah, we need that. <laughs> we absolutely need that. How how much? Yeah, we can afford that. We can afford that. Um Oh no, wait, shit, this is Turian. This is Turian. And it is better. Um, here's my question. Can Garrus wear medium? I feel like he can. However, 
I mean, the light armor is really good. Why does no one sell Quarian shit? Where do the Quarians go to buy their stuff? Okay, let's... Let's grab that. There we go. And before I forget... Garrus buddy... What was it? Right there. Yeah, that is, that is a lot better. Yes. Okay, ooh, he's camouflage now. That, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad on him. We, ju we just need someone who sells quarry and shit. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? I don't even know who items. would sell quarry and stuff. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. That's plus 20 damage protection. Um... Yeah, nah. Nah, no. Nah. No, thank you. And there wasn't anything around here. No, okay. I mean, there are, there are still shopkeepers in the wards, I believe they're called. So you, you never know. We might find something there. So let's, let's have a seat. What do you two have to say about this? The Krogan rebelled against the Council, yet they have a statue on the Citadel. And we Quarians still live as outcasts. Here's the thing, though. The Krogan have this statue because they helped out in a war. What have the Quarians done? If the Quarians haven't done anything for the Council, then you are expecting preferential treatment for having done nothing. Yes, it, it would be really nice if the Council could find you a, a nice world that you could live on and this, that and the other, but if you're saying like, oh, I want the Council to give us a world, but we don't want to join, we just want you to give us shit, but we don't have any of the responsibility. Like, I'm sorry, you're, you're being Britain. And the EU, like, like, oh, we want all the benefits of being in the EU, but we don't want to be in the EU. Like, for context, I wanted, I wanted the UK to remain in the EU. I think that, I, I think that the world, the world will just be a better place if we all learn to work together, to put it very, very simply. I would have been all right with leaving if we, if we could have done it in a way that didn't make us look like dicks. Unfortunately, uh, the the state of British politics as it is, you know, we want all of this shit. You can't have all that. Why the fuck not? How dare, like, it just looked like we were throwing our toys out of the pram. If we could have done it in a way that was classy, I would have been like, okay, like, yeah, I can get behind this. But, God, it, it was messy as fuck. We we did not look good. We didn't look good. Don't be like... Don't be like Britain, Tali. Don't be like Britain leaving the EU. Please. At the time the statue was built, the entire galaxy respected the Krogan. Now they're simply hated and feared. And I think Rex might say, what's, what's so bad about that? What's wrong with being hated and feared? Well, maybe not the hated part. Feared? What, what's that saying? It is better to be feared than loved. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I, I can see why someone might. I, mean, I, I doubt there's anything in here. I doubt it, but yeah, now this is this is still closed off to us. Okay, come along, people. I I really hope I can get Tali some better armor. I really hope. She deserves it. She's been part of the team for so long. And she's only got eight protection. That ain't right. That is not right. Come on. Move those legs. And from here, I'm thinking, let's let's go to the wards. 
actually, that might be the only place left for us to check. There's the wards and where Dr. Michelle is, if I remember correctly. And then I think, I think that's it. At least I, I can't remember any other areas of the Citadel. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've checked everywhere. Into the elevator. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I'm sorry, again, I'm just like, Naomi looks so good. Naomi looks so good, that armor really suits her. And now I'm looking at Garrus, that, that armor is way better, but also the blue on his face kind of clashes with the camo. I'm like, oh. Maybe if it was blue camo. Yeah, it'd look weird, but it'd, it'd all match. Any, any gossip? Anything at all? No, okay. Okay, fair dues. And hard, hard at work, I see. I salute you, Keeper. You do you. Enjoy your time with the Keeper Union. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Mm. Oh dear. I, I presume that's referencing the, um... Oh. This place is falling apart. This place is falling apart. We need to go. We need to go. Maybe... Oh, no. Oh, no. What if... What if most of the Keepers have used their vacation time? And they're currently, like, the, the majority of them are currently on vacation, meaning there aren't enough Keepers to maintain the Citadel. What have we done? What have we done? The Keeper Union was too powerful. It was too powerful for its own good, and now the Citadel is falling apart. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We flew too close to the sun. We were like Icarus. We were like Icarus, and the Keepers were our wings. Callista, what are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I just love the Keepers. Don't judge me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm not pissing myself laughing over here. I'm calm. Okay. Hello. Csec always turned a blind eye to what went on in here. Big fist for that. <laughs> Dancers are highly respected among my people, but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. And that's fucked up. That's fucked up. These women are doing a job. They should be respected for it. Not you, though. Fuck you. Harkin, uh, he's, he's just an asshole. He'd probably have something to say on us becoming Spectre. However, I don't think that Naomi wants to speak to him because he was a bitch. You're right, Garrus. You look at... The door must have confused him. Okay, let's... Let's not speak to anyone. Let's not sit down. We don't need to. Let's just hurry along. More running. Open up. I think there were yeah, there was there was a guy here. There were also more people upstairs. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Ooh, again, let's let's start with standard. 
Okay. Okay, why why does Krogan come under standard? I guess armory license. I mean, go on. Why not? Definitely you. I don't use grenades, however, just in case there's another situation like um like on Pharos, we might as well buy this. And no, I'm not finished. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Got that. That's also not particularly... Oh, wait a minute. Why? I just spent money. I just spent money. I hate everything. I don't I don't like spending money. Yes, I have all of this, but I don't like spending it. I don't like spending it. Um Okay, well first things first. This is an absolute improvement for Tali. We need to grab this. We need to grab this for her. That is better. Um, yeah. And... I... I presume that Garrus can wear medium armor. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, he can he can only go up to medium. Um Oh, that is like you know what, before I forget. Before I forget, Tali. Oh my it looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. I It was, it was at like 40, wasn't it? 40 damage protection, 300 shields, and 26 tech slash, bio, slash biotic protect. Oh, that's too big a jump. I, I just spent money. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. This pains me so much. So, so much. Yeah, that, it's way better. It's way <laughs> Why? Ah! Yeah, that was, I was like, don't tell, please tell me. No, no, that is better. I, okay. Okay, what does this look like? Does this go better with your face paint? It does. Yeah, I th I think that suits him a lot better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm good with that. Okay. Everyone is suited and booted, and I cry over my wallet. I know I've got the money for it. I know I've got money to spare, but I don't want to spend it. I like having money. Oh, hello. Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I... I, I swear. Like, hey, Commander, you gave me your autograph, and then I took a picture of you. Will you let me take a picture of your feet, please? I, I, I see it. I see it. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. God, he's acting so pally. Um... Again, we want to be an inspiration. We want to be an inspiration. Just grin and bear it. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great. This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? No. 
No, are you even a combatant? Who? What do you do? What do you do, sir? You, Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. Oh, sir. Mate, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, yet it's not just that, it's also the revelation that the people behind Akuz were a group who were a part of the Alliance. The group that she has... Uh, not the group, that that implies that that's Cerberus. Uh, the, the organization that she has dedicated her life towards were behind the attack that has caused her so much trauma. Even if they didn't know about it at the time, Cerberus was a part of Alliance at the time. Like, the Alliance had to have signed off on that. They must have signed off on it. They must have, even if they didn't realize what they were signing off on, it was only after the fact that they were like, oh shit, oh shit, this, no, goddamn. Um, she's realized that the, the organization she has devoted herself to has screwed her over. They never made amends. Like... Oh, I... I'm torn. I'm genuinely torn. His... On one hand, here's a test. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what that means. Let's talk about trust. I can assume, like, okay, this is... We're gonna talk it out. We're gonna talk it out. And I'm gonna persuade you not to do a dumb. Like... I, I can guess what this is. I don't know what here's a test means. I don't know what that means. And because I don't know what it means, I'm like, ooh, do I really want to go for that? And we also have... Naomi has a, um, a one strike and you're out rule. You get to say one asshole thing, and then if you continue on with that line, with that line of dialogue, at that point I'm going to get pissed. Everyone gets one. Everyone gets one, and if you stop, then we're good. But if you keep going, then we're going to have issues. And Conrad, he's been creepy. He's been creepy and very overly familiar. He's talking like they're old friends, but we've only met this guy like three times. It might have been the, you know, the event of the year to him, but to Naomi, he's just a random dude. Like, he's acting very overly familiar and he's being very creepy, but he hasn't technically been an asshole, which pushes me towards this. However, at the same time, Naomi has recently had a massive shock all around Akuz. You know, the realization that Toombs is still alive and he was experimented on and she left him behind. She didn't realize that he was alive. Him being experimented on, you could make the case that Naomi is responsible for that. She was, I, I don't know how she related to him in terms of like whether she was his superior or whether they were just comrades, but count comrades, they watch each other's backs. She didn't watch his back good enough. She was too busy saving her own skin that she didn't realize there was a guy left alive back there. So she's, she's feeling guilt that like, oh, I didn't, I didn't save him. That's on me. I didn't save him. Then there's the, the thing of, uh, you know, oh, this is happening again, Cerberus. They were responsible, and they did that to Admiral Kahoku's team, and I couldn't save him either. He died. Cerberus killed him because he had injection marks on him. So they, they killed him with, you know, something that they put in his blood, or like, they killed him with poison or whatever. Um, and so she's feeling guilty that she couldn't save him. Then there's the realization that, like, Cerberus were a part of the Alliance... And presumably they were with the Alliance when a coup's happened, making the Alliance responsible for a coup's. And they've never once made it up to her. They have never once come to her and said, listen, we're having you sign an NDA so you don't sue us, but we are letting you know that we were inadvertently responsible for your, your unit dying. Let us make it up to you. Like, no one has ever said that to her. They've just been like, we'll let her have survivor's guilt. We'll let her have trauma. Like, this is an incredibly sensitive subject for her. If there were anything at any time 
that could make her flip like that, it is this and now. If he said this to her at the beginning of the game, before she knew that Tombs was alive, before she knew about Cerberus and the Alliance, then I, I think I'd immediately go for this. But because of all of this information that she's learned... I'm really drawn to this. On one hand, she wants to be an inspiration and she's been biting her tongue with this guy. He's been really weird and creepy and overly familiar. And he's being a bit of a twat, to put it bluntly. He's being a bit of a twat right now. However, in in the grand scheme of things, like, oh, I know, I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz. Like, it's, it's not that bad. It's no worse than what Jenkins said at the beginning of the game. And she didn't immediately turn on him, but I, like I said, I think after everything she's seen, this is, this is the one button where you push and she immediately goes, oh hell the fuck no. Oh hell the fuck no. Under normal circumstances, I think she'd be willing to say, okay, this is your one, this is your one chance. You've been creepy, but you know, you haven't been too bad. But because of all of the trauma, I I could see her snapping at that. All right, let's see. I'm a bad guy. Stop me from killing you. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? I, I don't know what I expected. I wasn't expecting her to pull a gun on him. Um... I don't think, th this guy is pathetic. This guy is pathetic, but I don't think she's, I don't think she's snapped to the point where she's just like full on anger. Like she, she had the snap, you know, like she's pulled her gun and then she's had a moment to think, okay, breathe. We de-escalate. We have proved our point. We don't need to insult this man any further. Because you're not a soldier, Conrad. You can't handle this. Go home. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. Ooh. Plus nine renegade points, and we did that in a packed area. I... Oh. Oh, on one hand, that does hurt, because I... I don't think Naomi necessarily wants to be a hero. She wants to be an inspiration. You know, the idea that no matter who you are or where you come from, you can do anything. You can, like, if you're in a bad situation, then you can make that situation better. Just because you've been given a dud hand doesn't mean that that has to be the hand you have your entire life. So him being like, oh, I thought you were a hero. I wish I'd never met you. I think on one hand that would hurt her, but at the same time, how do I put this? He he was doing something dangerous. He was going to get himself into a situation that he couldn't get himself out of because he was like, oh, I'm like her. I'm like her. And she's like, no, you're not. I... I, I don't regret doing that. I was a bit shocked when she pulled a gun on him. But I, I don't regret doing that. I think that made sense for her. Yeah, it's... Akuz is a very touchy subject for her. He's been weird. He's been overly familiar. And that, you know... Oh, I know what you went through on Akuz. I know that you, you have issues with trust. Like, uh, sir, you don't know me. You don't know me. You think you do, and you don't. And you have just pressed the wrong button. She had the wherewithal to say, like, I'm not going to call him pathetic. I'm not going to call him pathetic, but I am going to point out that, like, he's he's acting like he's a soldier, and he isn't. This is not a game. We are not playing war games. These are life and death situations. Now go the fuck back home. I, I think it made sense for her. Oh, that... <laughs> I feel guilty. Me, the player, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. 
And unfortunately, I have ran out of time for this episode. In the next one, I'd a flipping heck. I'd, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to be fun. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.